This video is about soldering. We've recently done a video where we soldered headers to our Raspberry Pi Picos and there seemed to be a lot of interest in soldering in general and people saying that they hadn't had the best results when they've been soldering. So we just thought we'd make a video showing you guys what works best for us when we're soldering. So we're crushed behind this tiny desk to show you guys our equipment that we use and the methods we use. Um, and this, our little younger sister is going to have her first go at soldering and it will be for real so we don't know how it's going to turn out but stick around to see how it goes. Let's have a brief look at our soldering equipment. I think all in all ours totals to a little bit over £30 which is about $40. Your soldering iron. Well ideally you want one with temperature control or even better a solder station but that's way beyond our budget. I'm using an Antex XS25, it's 25 watts, and I've got pretty good results with this one. I started out with this soldering iron, I don't really know where it came from, but um, my results weren't too good. So your equipment does matter. This has got a removable tip which is really handy. There are various different tips you can get, from pointy to hoof shaped to small hoof shaped. I like these hoof shaped ones because they've got a large contact area and they're good at getting excess solder off. Some brass wool is handy to clean the top of your soldering iron with. This costs us about £3. The solder you use will affect your results. We use lead free so we don't have to worry about the lead but it's probably not going to be as good or easy to work with with the stuff with lead in but make your own judgement. You probably don't want to use an ancient roller solder that's been lying in a drawer for years. Flux helps with oxidation and wetting. If you think of a drop of water on a duck or a newly waxed car or a decent raincoat, it kind of beads off. Your solder can tend to do that and that's no good. What you really want is it to be like honey and stick to the joint and surface and flux can help that. Like this pencil has lead running through the middle, this solder has flux running through the middle. With this craft knife, I'm going to carefully cut through the solder to see if we can get a cross section and see the flux inside. I'm not sure I'd make a brain surgeon, but hopefully you can see the flux core now I've dissected the solder. If you're having trouble, sometimes preparing the surface with rubbing alcohol can make the job easier. This is isopropyl rubbing alcohol. <laughs> isopropyl. <laughs> a magnifying glass can be good for detailed work. A pair or two of hands may be useful, I've always got someone on to help, but if, you, if you've got no one to help, sticky tack will be useful. I'm just using some blue tack here to hold some LED strip in place, but you can, it can be also be useful to hold wires in and other stuff. There are various other gadgets and gizmos you can get, like helping hands, clamps, so be sure to go check them out too. We're going to get my sister started soon, but before we get her started, I'm going to show her an example by soldering a resistor to some perf board. And I'll attempt to film it. So we're just going to take a resistor out of here, and we're going to just pre-bend it. Just put it in about here. There we go. Turn it round and pull the legs out a little bit just so then we can solder. Now let's um, just put it in the trusty blue tack. So we need to um, heat up the pad and the leg of a resistor so we'll just touch the solder around to both. And then we are going to touch the solder to the pad and make sure it sticks to the leg, slide off and you're done. Which colour head would you like? I'm going to go with green. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's get a screen out for you to solder. You pick one. Break the header. There we go. It looks like you've got one too many there. Do you want to snap one off? There we go. Put the screen on the pins and then just support it with a little bit of blue tack. Yeah. Put the blue tack on first. Make sure it's embedded in. There we go. Okay, you ready for your first solder? So you want to just firmly touch the pads and put a little bit of force on the pin so the pin gets hot as well. Okay? So 
Do you want me to go? No. You can move your solder away. Move the solder away from that. I'll bring it like towards me. I'll just off the board for now. Just don't feel my fingers. Okay, like, I'll move the maybe move your hand upwards like that. So you're kind of pushing down and forwards, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah? That's and then good. just touch the solder. a little bit yeah you can yeah. see it's melting a little bit you too it'll be a bit more closer to the soldering iron and put the solder a little bit closer to the soldering iron so it's easier for it to melt oh yeah, yeah. a bit more a little bit more solder yes stop yeah. slide it off oh well it's done really your first pin that is pretty good oh okay do you want to go now do you want to do you want to go do the second one? Do you feel confident enough to do another one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember to be firm on the, both the board and the pin. Let it heat up. There you go. Oh, a bit more. A little bit more solder. Oh, slide off, slide off, slide off. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. When you've got your soldering iron on the pin, after you've put the solder on, remember, just hold it there for a little longer and then slide it off. Kind of maybe have your hand a bit further so then you're pushing down on it, not straight ahead. That's good. That's good. Oh, well oh, moving on to the last one. Heat it up and bring the solder on a little bit. A bit of solder. A little bit more. That's enough. Yeah, it's like that. Brilliant. Pretty good. Just have a little look at my fingers are still safe. <laughs> Did that go okay? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Let's check if it works. So you can just pull up, check it works. Pull up the power first. Okay, not working. Now if we just carefully take the blue tack out. Stuck. There we go. And then put it down. We just unplug this. Then plug your one in. And then we're going to plug the power back in. It works! That's, that's a good result. We find soldering wires to these LED strips a bit challenging. We wanted to include something that we personally find tricky. First I'm going to tin a couple of these copper pads on these LED strips and then I'm going to tin the wire. By that I just mean pre-coating them in a little bit of solder. solder. And start off by just heating up the copper pad and then touching the solder onto the copper pad. Okay, you might have to just touch the solder just to get it started. There we go. It looks like it's beaded a very small amount but not as much as I expected. I'm going to do another one here. And my brother mentioned earlier that if you use some of this rubbing alcohol, it can make the results of your soldering a little bit better. Okay, then give it a nice little scrub. Touch the soldering iron on one of the ones that we soldered. So here, heat it up. There we go. Now it's time to tin the edge of the wire. But you can see that there's multiple little wires here, so we're just going to twist them together just so that it's easier to when we're soldering. Let's clean it. You can see now it's just melting the solder since we've heated up the couple, the wire already. And we don't want it just to cake it on and use it like glue. But you can see here that we've got a thin coating of solder on our wire. Now it's time to solder the wire to the copper pad. We shouldn't need to use any more solder since we've already tinned both of them. So let's have that nice and stable there. And then we just gotta apply some heat. Okay. We have a one kilogram weight that's attached to the solder joint that we've just done. I'm going to see if it can take the weight. I've got the one kilogram weight. We've got the solder joint here. It works. Okay. 
A few notes just before we leave. Get comfortable and make sure you don't rush. Also, don't hold your breath and be tense. Just breathe out and relax when you're doing it. Also, if you've been using flux, then make sure to clean it off the item that you've been soldering because it can be corrosive and you can just do that by using some rubbing alcohol or something. During this video, we've had a light up there, but off camera, when I've not got a light, I like to use a head torch to see what I'm doing while soldering. If you're soldering something that you're concerned might melt or get damaged due to the heat, then you can use something like this crocodile clip here as a heat sink so that it will take some of the heat away. So if you're soldering here, then the thing you're concerned about won't melt or get damaged. Also, don't think we get perfect results every time we solder. Because we don't. Just keep trying and one day you will get some great results. Finally, we are using electricity, we are using heat. These do get very hot so you can burn yourself um, and some of the chemicals that get released when you do solder aren't particularly nice so you don't really want to be touching them or inhaling them but really just use your common sense. We've had some really supportive comments so thanks guys. It really encourages us to keep creating content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and if our other videos are anything to go by then do check the comment section down below for more tips. People do seem to post loads of amazing tips that we found super useful. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.